Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on D'Lo Brown, the Nation of Domination. Uh, so we have D'Lo in the game now, which is very cool. He is a Attitude Era Chaotic Acrobat. Uh, let's take a look. He has the Nation of Domination link. Gems do 50% more damage. That's pretty nice. Uh, Attitude Era gems do 10% more damage and then the uh, stock Nation of Domination gear. He's a trainer. Purple gems do 50% more damage and multiply gems generated for moves increase their strength by one. Um, so it's like a one and a half times mat. It's a 1.5 mat for purple gems. Um, what else we got? Let's see. We are going to start. I'm going to have three movesets for you guys. Uh, arguably this might be my favorite. Uh, and I'm starting with it right out the gate. It's triple blue. Um, before we get to that, there's one move I want to talk about. The Thrust Spine Buster. At first, I thought this was color turn gems, and I was kind of excited about a triple purple messing with it. But if you look, it's actually countdown gems. 2 MP, deal 49k damage, plus 83k bonus damage for every countdown gem. Uh, his only countdown move is this blue one that makes 11. That's 880k, but if you use the countdown gem move and this move, it doesn't leave you really anything else to do with the multiplies, so there's really no situation where I would ever run this move. Because with the other purple moves, it's color turns, not countdown, so this is pretty much a throwaway move, so you won't be seeing it in the preview. Um, anyway, triple blue, 10 MP finisher, 168 K damage, 25 multiplies into blue. That's the lowdown flying forearm smash, 6 MP deal, 109 K damage, make 11 random gems into one turn countdown gems, deal 80 K damage, make two random gems into multi. Yeah. Two random gems into multiply gems of strength six at the end of the countdown. And then the sky high deal, 111 K damage and decrease all your countdown gem timers by one. Uh, Entourage. We're running with Lawler. 4 blue MP. Lex for 2 blue MP and 1 more multiply. Pretty nice here. Seamus for 12k blue gem damage. Santa Hogan for flat blue. Uh, well, flat all color, but in this case, blue is what we're looking for. And then 1 more MP. So in Feud, this will leave you 1 short of the finisher if they have max Feud perks. Typically, though, the first Feud of each month, that's not the case for most people. So the finisher would be loaded um, in feud without max defensive perks. I only have plus one MP and nothing on a match, so that would actually simulate um, feud perks, right? So uh, it just doesn't hit quite as hard because we get the line bonuses and whatnot. Anyway, uh, strap. Uh, I actually am pretty light on the strap. It's only a five percenter. It is Fury 2, but not maxed out. Uh, so we're looking at about 115, 110% gem damage. So nothing crazy. You're going to be able to do significantly more than that. And then Z plate for the countdown gems to get 50% um, more gem damage and reduce your opponent's gem damage by 35% for two turns. I do want to say this move set would be perfect to combo the Z plate with the Judgment Day plate. If for some reason you don't have a Z plate, you could also run the Pyro Princess plate, um, which uh, gives you 50% blue gem damage when you make the multiplies off the countdown. But Z plate's better in this situation, and this would be really, really great with the Judgment Day plate combo, which uh, when you make six or more countdown gems drains all your opponent's moves by six mp that's like hitting a sub uh basically <clears throat> all right let's get out here against godfather and take a look So, like I said, you'd be one short in feud. What's interesting is if you have a blue match, you don't need KO. Because if you have a blue match, you could trigger your multiplies and swipe and easily fill those. Um, also, if you're running Judgment Day Plate, you would start out, throw the countdowns, um, and you're good to go. 
In this case, uh, we're not running a Judgment Day plate. We don't have a blue match. So let me turn this to 1.25 speed for you guys. We're just going to swipe. Now everything is full. We're going to chuck the countdowns. We're going to get rid of the countdowns. And then we're going to blow up the multiply gems by turning them blue with the D-Lo splash. Seven point two re million reduced to six point five. Not too shabby, um, considering uh, Judgment Day play, right? Like, so that's how I really, really like that build. Also, it's obviously recycling like that when it's rolling. Uh, let me want to run it one more time. You could swap Lex out for Matt, and you could swap like uh, Santa out for Mem. But then you would absolutely need a blue match to get the finisher um, on turn one. So, uh, or rather turn two. So I feel like this is the safest way, um, honestly. Oh, here's what I was talking about, right? And this is why you don't need KO. Because when there's a blue match, just throw these out. You make enough multiplies, you're always probably going to catch one uh, with your multiply. And then your swipe and we're full again, right? So, um, that's why you don't need to use KO. That's why I like Lex, uh, but technically, because Lex and Santa, because if you don't get a match, then the finisher's still full. Otherwise, you can do it this way. So, I'm glad I did it like that, so I can show you guys um, how it would work without KO, too. Plus, this gets an extra proc of the Z-Plate, so an extra 50% gem damage. So if you were wondering what, let's say you had a 50% gem damage trap, how hard would that hit? This is essentially how hard it would hit on the first, and you can see we hit for like 12 million there, quite a bit. It's going to scale, multiply gems scale really well with percentage boosts. Um, also, it is kind of random, so you don't always get a good cluster um, on your finisher. So let me run it one more time for you guys. You could alternatively, instead of Lex, also run like MP down if you don't have a Z plate. Uh, or, I mean, sorry, a Judgment Day plate. But either way, I think this is going to be quite solid uh, build set and definitely feudable depending how you guys want to run it. Same situation where we have a blue match. So we're very likely with 22 gems to hit one. Like, extremely, even my bad luck is usually going to hit that. So, really think this is kind of the ideal setup for him, personally. Uh, with a Judgment Day plate. I wouldn't hesitate to run him in any feud with a JD plate, for sure. Um, but even without it, I think a lot you're going to be able to make it work. And that was 11 million reduced to 10. So, I do think... If you have a really good strap of 50%, 60%, you're going to see basically 11 million hits instead of what I showed you the first time. 10 and 11 million, depending on your spread. Uh, but I generally go into it a little bit uh, toned down, because uh, I don't know what you have available, right? Also, the, the metal's not maxed. Anyway, that's enough about that build set. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, <clears throat> actually, I'm going to go to this one first. Juggernaut build set, so we're going to see um, all of the other moves except for one. Run it this way. All right. So, Diving Clothesline, deal 76k damage, choose two gems to make into two turn Jug gems, increase your purple MP by three, and then increase your green gem damage by 60% for three turns. Um, that's a four MP. Sit out Power Bomb, six MP, 102k damage, make 30 random gems into color turn gems, and then the Moon Salt, 112k damage, make 35 color turn gems into green. Woods for purple MP. We're actually going to start 
with the Juggernaut gem not full. Um, green gems do 40% more damage with comma, and color turn gems do 12k. So not only do we get the 12k flat, we get the 40% green. That's doing double duty there. That's pretty nice. RVD for color turns flat 12k, and Lex for green gems flat 12k. We're going to run this one first. Z-Plate won't do anything for us on this one. Uh, we don't have anything to slow him down, uh, so keep that in mind. But um, we should get to a point very quickly here, right after this first one, where Juggernaut Gem starts kicking in for us. You could start with the green and start the Juggernaut Gem full instead, and swipe and then get the purples. Uh, I just felt like doing it this way to use a different MP trainer than you're going to see next. Um, we got a purple match anyway, so, you know, we're just going to keep rolling it. Oh yeah, I'm sorry, I went too fast on the speed. Let me tone that back down so you guys can see the animations. So I see this being really potentially strong for boss battle. Because your purple is going to keep refilling with your juggernaut gems, I think. Um, hopefully he kicks out, right? That's 2.5 million. It shouldn't be a problem. This is going to fill our purple. Our juggernauts are full. And we should be in this cycle of purple juggernaut gem buff now, right? So um, because we got that purple match and we're not going to have to swipe. So it's more like a boss build. We haven't hit any buffs yet. It takes a little while to get going, though. But once you're going, it's three turns, and we're not having to to swipe, right, for this. In boss, we would have to swipe once um, and twice. I guess you would lose it. I don't know. The sub probably just ends up being better, but this lets me show the Juggernaut move. Uh, I wasn't planning on showing it, actually, so this was the last-minute ad for me. Uh, because I just feel like the sub makes way more sense. This is great, though. We're going to get our buff. We're going to fill our purple moves. We're actually going to get a second buff. Um, so it's kind of perfect. So this is uh, two sets of buffs off the jugs. About as hard as you're ever going to hit with this. Um, we would have taken a few shots by now, obviously. But you'll at least get to see a hard hit with the Juggernaut build. Uh, maybe for boss. I think I prefer the sub in every situation, though, which is what we're going to run next. So. And still, that was only 6 million, right? Not a bad hit, but for how many turns and stuff, just not enough. So let's see what the sub does. We're also going to change the skill plate for the sub. I'm going to go to an all heart to buff purple gems. We'll do that real quick. Sleeper hole. The one move we haven't seen yet. 6 MP sub. Choose 8 gems to make into purple gems. 172k, 4 turns. Remaining turn into color turns. Entourage, we're going to start with steel instead otherwise everything else is the same and then we're going to put the all heart on which gives us some bufferoo off of the sub sub a dub dub thanks for the grub where there's an all heart uh that isn't going to increase our green gem damage by 100 percent for two turns because of uh, the sub so it's going to buff those greens substantially and the sub is going to drain for some control for us. Uh, this build set, I think, if you like a little bit more control, this is going to be the build set for you. Also, all heart. Um, well, some you may not have it. It's not extremely, extremely rare. So there's that. Anyway, let's run this. And this one, for boss, there is no swiping. So you would completely be able to grow the gem damage in boss uh, with this build as well. Um, anyway, we're going to start out with the sub. Uh, you just need six purples 
because the purples are cheap. All of his MP charges are cheap, which is really nice. Um, so then I'm actually going to get rid of that so there's less purple in the on the board. Actually, let's just do that like that. That should be fine. Maybe keep some color turns. Definitely keep some purples. Purple nurple. Ooh. We dodge. A little bit of acro dodge going on there. 48k on the greens after that sub. Let's see how hard we hit. Here we go. Point four mil, not that crazy yet on turn one, obviously. Or cycle one, not turn one. I have a bad habit of saying that. Cycle one. Um, let's see how we do this time around. This would be cycle two. Up to 60k, 59 and change. So what's this gonna hit for? Three and a half, four million, something like that. Three point two. So it looks like it's a three cycle um, win here. Um, which, you know, isn't the greatest. It's not the worst. It's very control with it being four turns, though. So I do like the fact the sub is four turns. Um, it certainly won't be for everyone, this build set, but it will definitely be for some people. And this is definitely going to finish it for us. Then we can talk about uh, D'Lo and how we feel about him. That was a lot of greens. That was a nice hit. Yeah. Four mil. So maybe get it to two cycles with a really good strap. Um, two, two to three cycles. Do with a really good strap and an all heart. Otherwise, you're looking at probably three, um, four cycles without an all heart. So those are your move sets for him. Um, he doesn't have a ton of options. You got your um, multiplies, which only work with the finisher, or you got the sub. You could use this. I thought about using the sub with the finisher um, and the countdowns, but you'd lose countdowns and you wouldn't naturally recycle the green and it's hard to fill the blues. Uh, so I did look at some other stuff, tried some other stuff. Really, it's basically the two movesets. I threw in the Juggernaut one just so you guys could see it. Um, it's whether you like the triple blue. And I especially like triple blue with a judgment day plate like competitively i think honestly he would be very very good with that um so let's let's kind of compare him one thing he's an attitude era uh which he's definitely better than hbk which is our other attitude era um acro that's worth talking about so he's gonna get the nod at, for his era at his class for sure um let's go men and let's go class and let's get to the acro Training ability is interesting. Right off, I'm not sure who I'd use it on. Uh, but there's probably definitely some potential there um, for that. But it's not like a um, crazy, crazy must-have trainer for me personally. If you don't have Matt, though, you probably want it. Um, I think... I think like he's he's gonna transition to six star silver because he's gem damage better than like Dom will. 
Um, Ghostbuster Cena has this showdown thing. It's almost like comparing apples to oranges. If you love Cena, you love him. If you don't, you don't. So I think that's an apples to oranges. I mean, Macho's definitely better, especially with Gears. Um, Warrior... Warrior's hard because he's a lot of clicks, but with a braid and a veer, you know what I mean? Like, um, maybe similar-ish to Roman in the in the damage output, assuming the first feud where you can go turn one. Uh, but Roman is very very versatile, bunch of different colors he can run. I do like him more than I like Tatanka. I yes, you could do a five uh, swipe with Tatanka. Yes, you can do um, Judgment Day played on Tatanka too. But I, I do like him more than Tatanka because the primary blue gems. So I think he's got a little bit more beef there. Uh, like I said, definitely like him more than HBK. And that's kind of the acro is worth talking about uh, to me, right? Like, I think he's way better than Logan, personally. Um, I think he's better than Steamboat at the Legend era there. So, you know, I would put him one, what do we got? One, two, three, four, Cena, five ish. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, for sure, I would put him in the top five in playstyle preference. Maybe what straps you have for him. I think with 100% strap, he would slap. I think if you have a Judgment Day plate, you're probably putting him uh, top two, top three um, if you're using a Judgment Day plate on him. So overall, I think he's a very good chase, uh, a nice addition. Uh, he's a new character. He's solid. He's strong, um, and he has some usage. Boss battle wise, if there's ever green and color turn, he's gonna hit super hard with that. I think I would still go with this move set because you're never gonna not grow the damage. So I think this would be the boss one. His move charges are all six or lower, except for this one. My one complaint would be this one. I really, really wish this was per, um, instead of countdown, per color turn gem damage. Uh, then that would be really interesting. It'd be doing 2.4 million damage on color turns. Uh, put some color turn trainers on there. Um, that would be super cool. Triple purple would be really fun then. It wouldn't recycle, um, so that would be the risk trade-off there. Uh, that would probably be the my only small complaint is this move is kind of throwaway. And then other small complaint, I love having multiple builds to be able to do. And for him, it's really just basically the two. So, But other than that, really good character. I think great addition for the chase. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching and good luck out there. Holy crap. I got the video done in less than 25 minutes. Wow.